Sleep is the time for the body, body that, to rest and recover from the day's activity. During sleep, the body repairs damages, uh, damaged tissues and replenishes energy stores. As you can see, sleep loss, and this is normal with short-term sleep loss and long-term sleep loss, what you can see is really the skin does not rejuvenate as effectively with chronic sleep deprivation. You would be better off studying until sleep, sleeping for seven and a half hours, waking up and then taking the test. You would do much, much better than studying all night long. And that's because during sleep, there's processes that consolidate our memories into po and potentiate it into the long term. Four hours of sleep over two nights, and these hormones switch. Suddenly, you cannot feel full and you cannot feel satiated. People who are chronically sleep deprived have issues with weight. When we are sleeping, we are fighting disease. The immune system reinforces itself during sleep. You sleep better, your infl inflammatory biomarkers are improved. You are much able to fight disease. When you're sick, you actually sleep more. But when you're healthy, you actually need to sleep sufficiently to maintain your immune function and to fend off disease. You go for one or two days sleep deprived and you will not have the ability to regulate your emotions. Insomnia and chronic insomnia in increases the risk for cardiovascular disease. It increases oxidative stress. It impacts the immune function by impacting interleukin-6 and impacts insulin resistance, especially in the morning. Specifically, with insomnia is associated with increased beta amyloid, the protein that causes the plaques in the brain, tau. Tau proteins are what causes the actual dementia. And NFL, uh, uh, this is another component that is really causing Alzheimer's disease. So overall, sleep is essential for maintaining physical and mental health and getting enough high quality sleep is important for overall well-being.